Hi again, ladies and gents, and um, one thing that you might have noticed recently is that I've been posting a lot of material about Sir Alfred Hitchcock. It should be little surprise to anyone that I am a massive fan of Alfred Hitchcock. I think he's one of the best directors of all time, and the film I'm going to review in this segment here is no exception. Today I'm going to be reviewing Shadow of a Doubt from 1943. It's one of his early masterpieces. Many people consider it to be one of his finest films, and I would concur. It deals with the premise of what would you do if someone in your close family was a murderer? Would you tell your parents? Would you tell your siblings? What would you do? Would you keep the information to yourself to preserve the sanctity of your family? The film concerns a character who is one of Hitchcock's best ever character studies, played by Joseph Cotton. The character is called Uncle Charlie, and he is coming to town. Uncle Charlie comes to visit his family in a sleepy any town in America. It could be your town. He comes to visit his sister and his family, and little do they know that he is actually the Merry Widow Strangler, a man wanted for a series of um, strangulations and murders across um, America. And um, something soon clicks in his niece's mind that something's not quite right with Charlie. Charlie ain't all there. His niece is also called Charlie. She's named after him. Her name is Charlie as well. She's young Charlie. Old Charlie is Joseph Cotton, who is a wonderful, prolific actor of the 1940s and other later decades. You might know him from his work with Orson Welles. He was in Citizen Kane and in The Magnificent Ambersons, and he worked with Hitchcock on a number of occasions. He later appeared in Under Capricorn, his 1949 period film set in Australia. Joseph Cotton had some later roles. He played a character in Soylent Green, the 1970s science fiction film with Charlton Heston. Cotton is really great here. He plays a charming, suave, sophisticated, but really creepy at the same time character who's a serial killer. And we don't know whether to sympathise with him or be against him. I really, really enjoyed him in this film. He did an excellent spellbinding performance. Teresa Wright plays young Charlie, and she was just wonderful to watch. She was really lovely and just had a really charming, sweet smile. And she was just innocent, but kind of loses her innocence over the film as she learns more about her evil, murdering uncle. And um, I watched the features on the Blu-ray, which came as part of the Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection Blu-ray set, which is a really fantastic steal. It's a brilliant box set. You really should purchase it if you have any interest in the works of Alfred Hitchcock. It doesn't include all of his films, just the ones that Universal own. So if you want his other films, you'll have to buy those separately, which I've been doing. But if you're a Hitchcock buff, this is one of the best films that he did, in my opinion. He, um, what was I saying? On the Blu-ray extras, um, there's a documentary featuring some of the surviving cast members from this film, Hume Cronin, who plays a hilarious supporting character in this film. He plays um, the friend of um, Teresa Wright's character's dad. And her dad and her dad's friend are always talking about humorous ways to murder each other. They're crime fiction fans, and they're over the dinner table, they're talking about, oh, if I was to poison you, that would be far more effective than strangling you by the throat. And of course, young Charlie isn't too thrilled at hearing this. She doesn't want to hear this when she knows there's an actual murderer in the house who could kill them. And when, she, when he realises she knows too much, he has to do away with her. So he concocts these schemes to try and kill her. He um, kind of makes one of the steps to the house crooked so she will fall down the stairs and break her neck. That doesn't work, so he tries to gas her inside the um, garage. Um, and eventually he tries to push her off a train, but stumbles and falls himself. And that's the end of Uncle Charlie. It is a brilliant thriller and terrific cast. And... Um, the Blu-ray features are spectacular, production stills, archive interviews with Teresa Wright and Hume Cronin, and Wright still has that lovely smile that she had when she was in her 20s in this film. It's a fantastic film, and one of his early masterpieces. It's not his first American film, 
but it's his first one that feels wholly American, like it's set in America, in Midwestern sleepy town America. It just brings menace to a small town. It was also one of Hitchcock's own favourites of the already spectacular calibre of films that he produced, the 50 or so canonical films that he made during his career. This is one of the early highlights. It's exceptional. Buy the Blu-ray, or buy the DVD, available separately. This is Adam Walton. I will have many more reviews to come shortly, including much more Alfred Hitchcock. Enjoy. Have a pleasant day.